In order to have a good relationship, you need the religion. You need to follow the commandments. You need to keep the commandments in order to have a good relationship. Now, thank God that the relationship comes not by obedience to the law. The relationship comes just by receiving a free gift, by putting your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That relationship of a father to a son, that's there. So if you're saved, you already have that relationship, but we need to work on having a good relationship with our father. And if you just think about what are some of the things that go along with having a good relationship between a father and a child? I mean, even just humanly speaking, because it's going to be the same things that are going to apply between us and our heavenly father, as well as a father, a human father and his children. Some of the things that are going to make a good relationship, one is communication. Communication between a father and their children. That's going to be a good relationship when you're communicating with each other, right? When, when you're able to, to, to listen and speak back and forth and having a, a two-way road with communication, that's a good relationship. That's one of the aspects that define a good relationship. How about love? And again, real love, not just in word, but in deed and in truth. How about trust? That, that's a sign of a good relationship when you can trust. When you can trust your father and your father can trust his child, that's a good relationship. Obedience, right? When the child is in obedience to the father, that's a good relationship. That's healthy. That's, that's the way it ought to be. The children should be in subjection unto their parents. Respect. When respect is given to the father, that is another sign that there's a good relationship there when the children respect their parents, specifically the father, what we're talking about this morning. And then uh, my last point here, I'm going to get into that a little later, is, is just ha being con having contentment with what the father provides for you is going to be another sign of having a good relationship because that's going to prevent bitterness and, and, and uh, other bad feelings and, and um, thoughts towards your heavenly father for you know because so, because if you're not content what you're doing is you're saying well the father's not doing his job he's not doing what he's supposed to be doing for me he's not taking care of me the way that i want him to be taking care of me right and if you have that type of an attitude that's not a good relationship now, on earth, if someone has that type of an attitude, you may, you may be justified if you're a child and your dad's just a deadbeat dad and he's not taking care of you, he's not actually doing the things that he's supposed to be doing. But we're talking about the Heavenly Father. Is God the Father a deadbeat dad? No, of course not. So the, the good thing is that even though you may have some, some areas, humanly speaking, where men fail, God never fails. So when we're looking at the, the, the relationship aspect, God is always right and he's going to be the perfect father to us. So if anyone's wrong in the relationship, it's going to be us. And just coming into this, knowing that is a good place to start, knowing that if there's anything wrong with our relationship, we need to look right here. It's not God causing the problems in the relationship. It's us causing the problems in the relationship.